you have a pediatric trauma come in and it sounds like the child's under three years of age, the child's going to need to be intubated, what is the uh, correct labeling size you will need for your laryngoscope? It is not uncommon for physicians to uh, re refer to uh, a Rousel tape, to look in a textbook, to be basing on experience, but what about using external landmarks? Here's a Miller Zero, and um, this is a Mac a 2, we have a, a Mac 1, and um, we have a Miller Blade 1 here. So, but on this little girl here, what, what size blade do you think we're going to use on this one? So uh, there's, her, there's her facial anatomy. We're going to use the recommendations that come from a 2006 study that uh, talk about using facial anatomy to make that decision. And mom, you're okay with this video ending up yes. on YouTube? And, uh, Dr. Salivar, tell me a little bit about uh, what, what you're going to try. Uh, we are going to try to use facial landmarks as a starting point for choosing the size of uh, our laryngoscope blade. Um, and then, and then I just thought would say she would be a Miller one, and maybe right, and maybe wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, try both sides. So, so basically, what are the what's the what's the uh, recommendations in the paper as far as uh, blade length uh, anatomy? So, w what is what what is it you're going to be looking at um, in making your decision? Uh, so I will use a Miller one straight laryngoscope blade as an example. Uh, the theory is that. If you place the base of this laryngoscope blade at the central incisors externally where they would be. Yeah, the upper um, the upper central incisors. The upper central incisors. That the tip, the distal portion of your blade, will be plus or minus one centimeter to the angle of the jaw. And that's the correct blade length. That would be the correct blade length. Okay. Correct. Uh, again, based on her age, this is just a guesstimate as to whether this will work. Okay, so let's let's put this down next to her and see if she needs a, a bigger one or a smaller one. Want to go ahead and look up at the sky, sweetie? All right, open your mouth just a little bit. You know, open your mouth. Very good. Open, let's see. Let's see those teeth. Now this goes... Actually, where's the angle of her mandible? So that goes... Angle of mandible is at my index finger, tip of my index finger. Is, is and the, the block, insertion block, is it right at the uh, central incisors of the upper teeth? It is right yeah, there. Right there. Okay. So that is just about probably what she, okay. what she would need. Okay. Now let, let's go ahead and use the, uh, open up the uh, zero and see if that would work on her. And that was your best guess. That that was it. So there's the, uh, you have it, here's, here's the zero. The zero, zero Miller. Miller Zero. Typically, I would grab this for a very small baby. Okay. Let's try this one. All right, sweetie. Go ahead and open your mouth again like you had before. Again, the base of the laryngoscope blade at or about the level of the central incisors, okay. with my finger being at the level of the angle of the mandible. So the guidelines say a centimeter in front or a centimeter behind. Okay. And um, that, that might be a little bit on the short side. And, Looks like and it's about 1.5 centimeters you, too short. And if you keep it right there, I'm gonna come around, I wanna capture her mouth. Open your mouth now, yeah, let's see those teeth. So the insertion block, so bring the insertion block up just a little bit. There we go, I think that lines up. I think it lines up better right there. Okay, now keep it right there, and we're going to come around here and just see where that where that lines up. And so the angle of her mandible is right where your finger is. Yeah. So this blade's this blade's actually maybe a little bit too short, maybe way too short. So good. Well, that's that's good. Thank you so much for uh, allowing us to make this teaching video. We appreciate this very much, and it will be uh, useful. And you're you're going to be famous. <laughs> yeah, yeah.